Welcome to the final broadcast of the year. My name is Jack. And I'm Lydia. And today we are FLTV anchors. We have, we have five exciting stories that we can't wait to see, show you. So here's Colton that will compare a teacher's life to an ordinary student's life. My name is Colton Cherry and today we will be going around asking people if they'd rather be a student or a teacher. What job do you think is more difficult, being a student or a teacher? Uh, I think it's more difficult to be a teacher because like, you have to grade all the tests and the homework and stuff and that's hard. Probably a teacher because you have to make sure the kids are kept in line and that they're paying attention. Wow, that's a tough question. Um, I've been in seventh grade for about 21 years now. So I think it depends on uh, how you approach your job. Being a student is hard. Um, with all the responsibilities that you have and all the different eight classes that you have to keep up with. Um, but being a teacher is uh, also not the easiest job in the world because it extends longer than three o'clock and it does go through the summer. So there are uh, two different opinions, I guess. What is the hardest part of being a student? The test and like the stress. Sometimes you just get really stressed out. Homework. And what is the hardest part of being a teacher? Oh, being a teacher is so rewarding. Um, I love and appreciate all of the smiles and wonderful things that um, happen. I get to laugh at students every day. Um, probably one of the most difficult um, is uh, when I have to call home uh, and talk to a parent because a student has made some bad choices. Those are some things I don't like to do. And uh, sometimes the workload gets heavy, but uh, it's a rewarding job. The life of a student is hard. Some teachers think their life is harder. The challenges of students is their classwork and homework and their tests. The hardest part of a teacher is grading and keeping the kids in their class controlled. Students have to carry heavy backpacks or roll them across the hall. They have to get good grades to play in sports. Do you think you could be a teacher? No, I probably wouldn't be able to handle it because the kids would probably be annoying and the teachers and like I wouldn't be able to grade tests. <laughs> probably not. Why? Because I don't really like kids much. What was the hardest part of being a student when you were in school? I had a hard time um, recalling information, so I had to do a lot of practicing with uh, learning information where um, some of my brothers could hear at once and be able to recall it and they didn't have to study as hard. This has been Colton Cherry signing off. Hey, I can't wait for summer. Me either. Let's take it over to Ellie to find out what students are planning to do over summer break. Hi, I'm Ellie from FLTV, and summer is right around the corner. Let's go around interviewing some students and teachers to see what their plans are for summer. Are you excited for school to end? Definitely. Yeah. What are your plans for summer? Stay home and maybe hang out with friends. Sleep on my pillow in my bed. What are your plans for this summer? Um, I plan on going to Jamaica and Hawaii and playing basketball. Now let's go see what a teacher has planned for their summer. What are your summer plans? Uh, this summer, uh, I'm going to start the summer by going to Washington, D.C. Uh, with uh, Faith School. And then um, I'm going to go to Minnesota for a month uh, just to see my family and see trees. This year, summer will be cut down to two months instead of three, and we will, we will be returning back to school on August 10th. Let's go see what some students have to say about this topic. Are you excited for school to end? Yes, very excited for school to end. What do you think about the summer being shorter this year? I think it's a bummer for you students. I always look forward to a long summer. Um, so hopefully you can get all your fun in in two months and be ready for the year a little bit sooner. All right, how do you feel about the summer being shorter? Being shorter? Yeah. Nobody told me that. What? You summer mean? is only going to be two months this year. Bro. You cannot make it short. You cannot make it shorter. That's 
illegal. That's called child stress. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Ellie from FLTV and have a great summer. Well, was that a great story? Many students are annoyed why summer is being shortened. Let's take it over to Preston to find out more. Hello, my name is Preston and today we'll be going around interviewing people about what they think about us having a shorter summer. Uh, I don't really, I don't really like the shorter summer, but you know, to, to fix the schedule. It's bad. It's really bad. Why? Why do you do this? This year we will make the change of starting school earlier. Our school is making this change to be on the correct schedule for athletics and academics. This change will result in a temporarily short summer just for this year. It will affect some people's break as many will be rushed to try and fit in their summer plans. We went around interviewing students and faculty asking them about this new change. Well, I think it's a change that we've always been looking to do. Um, we would like to be done before Memorial Weekend in May, so that will give us that opportunity. And with all Clark County schools making a change and starting earlier, um, it just made sense that we're all on a similar um, schedule. Would you rather end summer early and start school early or start school later and end school later? I'd rather start school early and end early just because I think ending early is better than starting early. How about no school? Amen. How will this personally affect your summer? Uh, this will affect my summer because there will be no football workouts and those really help with condition. Well, it's going to be a lot shorter, which is sad. This has been Preston from FLTV signing off. Are you excited for finals? No. Me either. Many students put in a lot, a lot of hard work and time into studying for finals. Let's take it over to Ari to find out more about the upcoming finals. Hello, I'm Ariana from FLTV, and today we're going to be interviewing students on finals. How do you plan to study for finals? I have this huge binder that I've made with all the papers that I've ever done. Um, I plan to print out all of the study guides that I did throughout the year. Hopefully the teacher like repost it up good because sometimes they get rid of it the day after we finish the test. So yeah. Do you have a final that you are least looking forward to? Science. Um, I guess because there's a lot to learn, like we're doing some rocket science. Do you have a final that you are least looking forward to? Maybe math, because like it's not like the math problems, I'm just scared if they might post the vocabulary. In about two weeks, finals will start, but some students like to study in advanced. Most kids are least looking forward to the science final, and Angela is not looking forward to her algebra final. How do you plan to study for finals? I'm probably not going to study for it, or at least until the last minute, and I'll probably just read over my textbooks. Is there a final you're least looking forward to? Math. Because I just, I just don't like math. This is Ariana, signing out. Hi, I'm Eric Bredhauer, and today I'll be walking around campus interviewing 8th graders on what they think the 8th grade promotion to high school is. Are you going to miss middle school, and if so, why? Um, yes, because high school seems hard and middle school seems pretty easy. Oh, I'm excited because, I don't know, I want to play sports in high school, and I think high school will be fun. Are you going to miss middle school, and if so, why? Oh, yeah, I will miss middle school because I have, um, there's a lot of uh, great teachers here in this middle school, and I really appreciate everything that they do for me. Are you excited for high school? Oh, of course I'm excited for high school. I have four years, four years left of my uh, my school career before college, and my you know I'm gonna go by the go by the plan. You know everybody prepared and everybody saved. So yeah, I, I am excited for high school. Eighth grade promotion is basically a graduation for eighth graders to move on to high school. Eighth graders get to choose which two teachers get to speak at the promotion. It will be held on June 3rd. Now we'll be going around asking eighth grade students what sort of gifts they are expecting to receive. Are you expecting any gifts, and if so, what? Um, my mom will probably get me flowers and candy. Are you expecting any gifts, and if so, what? Yeah, I kind of want a donut or some cake, but mostly sour Skittles. 
Are you expecting any gifts? And if so, what? Uh, I am expecting some gifts because of uh, because of me being such an amazing friend and student here for these uh for this middle school. I'm expecting some some uh, some gifts for sure. It's been Eric B from FLTV. See you in high school. Hi, my name is Trevor Smith with FLTV, and today we're going to be asking students about what they believe is their most memorable moment of the school year. What is your most memorable moment of the school year? Well, I've had many memorable moments, but I would say that the number one moment was watching you, Schmerz, get all excited about Trump becoming the president. Uh, leaving eighth grade and going summer. So in math class, Miss Schwartz class, like my favorite teacher ever, right? So when the bell's about to ring, I mean, not really, like three minutes earlier, and kids are like walking back from lunch, and um, you know, and they're like walking back thinking that they have a lot of time, like three minutes. And I run out there, I'm like, bro, you got like seven seconds, start running. And so they start running back to class. And then uh, we, uh, he just gets to class and we start all laughing because they still have like three minutes. Yeah. Sherman, would you like to comment? Uh, good job. Thanks, buddy. Many people around this time of the year are looking forward to summer. Because it's summer. Well, it's, it's pretty funny. And it was in Mrs. Schwartz's class, my favorite teacher. Like, everybody laughed, so. Are you looking forward to next year's memories? I am looking forward to many more memories with my wonderful students, including you. Thank you so much. No, because it's school. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I just want to say thank you for watching, and have an amazing summer, okay? We really appreciate all you guys do for us, Faith Lutheran. Have a great summer. Thank you for having a great year with us. And 8th graders, enjoy high school. This is Trevor Smurz, signing off. What is your most memorable moment of the school year? Uh, when I crossed up Josh Goins. <laughs> Josh Goins. Josh Goins. Josh who? Goins. Josh Goins. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of FLTV. My name is Jack. And I'm Lydia. And we're signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great summer.